You hear this all the time, but I grew up with you, so uh, you just didn't know it. But yeah, I used to watch Happy Days all the time. I even, you know, I had basic cable at the back in the day, and I watched even Zapped. You know, ah. <laughs> so I watch it several great times. Great movie, great movie. <laughs> Sorry, it's a great movie. I think it's funny. It's got a lot of fun moments to it, yeah. but I wouldn't necessarily show my kids at this point. But uh, it was like oh, the that, precursor. That movie, that's a G movie in today's society. You can't... <laughs> You're right. Yeah. It definitely would be PG-13, I would guarantee you. Yeah. Well, hey, uh, it's good to connect with you. And uh, when I saw that you were part of the God's Not Dead uh, franchise, I thought it would be really cool to talk to you. And uh, Thank you. And uh, I know you've been, I followed you on Twitter for years. So, you know, I know that you're, You've become a little, you know, outspoken or or whatever. I kind of gravitate toward the people who uh, have a different opinion. Let's say that. And uh, so I appreciate uh, your voice and you know speaking your mind and and uh, going to bat for it too. So I guess God's Not Dead is probably just an extension of that, right? Yeah, uh, it's funny how you just or I just. Uh, I don't take this the wrong way. Just fall into things. Um, I just, this was presented to me and it was, um, it seemed like the right move. I, I was, uh, I was raised a Catholic and then baptized a couple of years ago. Uh, and then I met David A.R. White and at school church, kind of the same thing in Los Angeles. And, presented me with the, some stuff to do, you know, and I was sort of appreciative and my life is just sort of taken as on this road now. And I'm, I'm really, I'm really enjoying it. Yeah. Great. Well, I, I, like I said, I, I like to see you, uh, you know, when you speak up and in projects, I think I saw you on an interview just maybe a month ago or two on Fox uh, and you may be regular on there, but I just happened to catch it that night. Uh, but they had you uh, speaking at that point. Um, but one of the things that really strikes me is that this whole world of child stars and the danger that they get in and how they, you know, um, so for me, any child star that continues to, you know, have a normal life and, uh, you know, is not fall into the really the pit, uh, that's very commendable. How do you, what would you credit that to in your life? Parents. Um, good parenting. Yeah. I, uh, uh, Dwayne, um, there's a, that's a, it's a, it's a long answer. I, I'll give you the, I'll give you the short one. I, uh, my, my parents just, I, I never, I never had the, I never was intrigued by anything like that. Even when I got into, to, when I went to, to Los Angeles, I, it just wasn't even in my, you know, it wasn't even something that I, well, I wonder what that's like. And I don't, I don't know why uh, I, I was fortunate enough to be very athletic and, I always thought, well, two things. I didn't want. I didn't. My, I had the fear of my dad, and secondly, if I was if I was given a healthy body and a athletic body, why would I damage it? And right. that was. And it wasn't even really that conscious of a thought. You know what I mean? It was just. It just. It didn't even click in my head to like, oh, this guy is doing this or that. And I want to try. It. it never entered my mind. So, yeah. I was, and I was always a decent fun guy to work with. And, and, and I guess maybe that goes a long way. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, I know in this movie, you kind of step into the villain shoes a little bit. Was that fun to do? Yeah. Uh, Cause you probably have spent a majority of your life playing good guys. Well, yeah, I played good guys most of the time, but Oh, absolutely. I mean, in, in this movie, uh, God's Not Dead and God We Trust, September 12th, coming to a theater near you. I play a bit of a creepy campaign manager for a great actor named Ray Wise, whom I had the pleasure of working with and hanging around with. Had a really good time with him. 
Um, and people ask, well, is it hard to play a creep or a bad guy? It's not really. It's if it's written well and it, you could just, and I'm a New Yorker, so it's easy to be gruff and kind of, <laughs> kind of rude. And, uh, and plus when you're playing a bad guy or a creep, you get, you, you have a lot of freedom and you can improvise and you can do things. Uh, so that's just pretty much what I did. I, I didn't really, I didn't really look up any information or looked up, look at any wrong. Well, yeah, I just figured this is what a creepy politician must be like. <laughs> yeah. Uh, has politics ever interested you? I mean, I know they interest you to speak out, but as far as running for anything? No. No, I, no. <laughs> I don't, if you, if you had a magic wand and made me president, great. But I am not going to go through what these, what these, what these people in the press put people through and my wife and my daughter. There's no way. There's right. No way. Yeah. Uh, what do you think that the movie uh, the God's Not Dead and God We Trust movie has to say to audiences right now, especially in this uh, political season we see? Well, Blaine, uh, I learned something on this movie that there are 40 million Christians that don't vote. And I'm sure that a large percentage of those people are complaining about something in the country. Right. And I don't know what principle they're standing on or if they think politics is dirty horrible business uh i i don't know what it is they are waiting for because or what, what they're doing because they're going to wake up one day and they're not going to recognize anything about america so i think people need to watch this film first of all it's a good film and i'm not saying that because i'm in it it's, it's a good movie good story good performances but you need to get off your butts and get to, you can vote from home. You can, you, you can uh, mail in your ballot, but if you want to affect change and you want to save America and I'm not, I'm not making this bigger than, than it need be. I I'm in a, I'm, in, I'm concerned right now about my country that I love. And I'm concerned for my daughter whom I love more than I love myself. So I think if we can get 10% of those 40 million people, at the end of the movie, there's a QR code that you can download and it'll, and it'll register to you to vote. So do that, get out, vote, and vote to save your country. That's what I would, that's what, uh, that's my message here. Right. Even know if that was your question, Dwayne, but I gave it's it a, a good, it's a good answer anyway. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, you know, I was thinking back like this God's Not Dead franchise. It kind of, uh, through some of the movies, it introduced mainstream stars. It was like their first first dip into faith-based films. Uh, I think in the first one, Kevin Sorbo, and then he's gone on to do a lot of faith-based films since then. Uh, maybe through the other ones, I think uh, there have been some others. Uh, Ted McGinley, I think, was in uh, number three. We love uh, Ted. Oh, yeah, he's great. Uh, I was on set the day, and they are. He he interviewed with us, but he had been in a fight on the on the script in the script. So he had a a bloodied, you know, his his lip was busted and all that. But he was just hanging out with us, not you know. He still had his makeup on. Is what I'm trying to say. But anyway, uh, with this, would you foresee in the future uh, making more uh, of the faith based genre? Sure, I. It's it's a tar it's an audience that's underserved, and uh, I think now it's, people are starting to realize that. But yeah, I mean, I I enjoy Dwayne. Um, I have a daughter who's sixteen, and I will do anything and everything I can to give her the opportunity to grow up in a country kind of like the one I grew up in. Mm -hmm. So if I, by doing these movies, I can help pull that off in any small way, I will do it. I, I, I genuinely, I, you, I don't know how old you are, but I grew up in America. Yeah. 
and I don't feel like I live in America anymore or yeah. it's leaving. So I want her to grow up in, in America. Yeah. Well, uh, just one other thing I'm just curious about, because I was a big Happy Days fan. I saw recently where I think Henry Winkler said he actually didn't ride motorcycles. Uh, and everybody associates him with that. Uh, did you ride motorcycles in real life? Uh, you know? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Dirt bikes and a friend of mine had a bunch of street bikes and I would ride. and But, but no more. I haven't done that in many, many years. I, it was too scary. Yeah. Yeah. My daughter said she wa I have three daughters too. I have twin 12 year olds and a 14 year old. So and I'll I give you, I'll give you a little bit of a, a, a trivia about, about that with the Fonzie character. So they wanted him in a leather jacket. And if you remember in the early shows, he had like a cloth jacket like James Dean had on in um, Rebel Without a Cause. And the reason they didn't want him with a leather jacket is because it made him look like a hoodlum. Right. So the network said the only time he could be in a leather jacket if he's on his motorcycle. So Gary Marshall and in his inf infinite wisdom in the beginning always had the motorcycle near Henry when he would be in a scene. So he could wear the leather jacket. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Well, what was it like when you joined? Was it just like pandemonium? I can just imagine stepping into something like that. And you just. A pandemonium? No. Uh, it was fear. Tremendous fear. These people have been there for three or four years. And I'm. Well, who am I? And uh, was welcomed. And, and, uh, and it was off to the races. But then your pictures in Tiger Beat and <laughs> 16 and all that. I remember when those magazines were like so, you know, like they captured every yeah. part of the, that teen heartthrob yeah. kind of thing. Before the Internet, Dwayne, it's all you had. Yeah, my right? cousins had them. Yeah. Yeah. So it was it was an amazing time in the country. It was an amazing time in, te in television. And. It's gone. It's a it's a time gone by. Right. Right. Yeah. And as far as reboot, I would never want to see anything mess up what that legacy was because it was just so nice. Oh, for happy days. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of people are gone. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's great talking to you. It's uh, definitely you. a highlight and uh, nice. Nice to meet you on online. Thank you, Dwayne. It's a pleasure. And uh, September 12th, God's Not Dead and God We Trust at a theater near you. We'll be there. Appreciate it.